Biden's fighting to reconnect with black voters and keep them from supporting Donald Trump. Listen to what he said at an NCAA, uh, NAACP uh, dinner in Detroit. Roll tape. Folks, Trump isn't running to lead America. He's running for revenge. But revenge is no way to lead a country. You can't build a future on revenge. Joining me now is James Craig. He's the former chief of police in Detroit. James, did you feel that Biden's speech was divisive? Hey, Stuart, first of all, let me thank you for uh, having me on your show. Of course, this was gaslighting to the highest level. Not only that, he gaslights and he, he's not always truthful. Uh, for example, why make a statement that if black Americans had converged on the Capitol on January 6th, what would have Trump done? Suggesting that, look, black Americans, you're in trouble. Yep. That's the vision. And this is the same man who ran on unifying America. I got to tell you, I don't see unification. In fact, I, I think we're worse than we've, I've ever seen in my lifetime. Hmm. So this is a scare tactic that he has used. It's not working. Are black people angry that money is going towards migrants and being taken away from the police? Absolutely. Uh, the best example, so, you know, the governor here in Michigan uh, put a bill out to help, you know, illegal immigrants. But look at what's going on in Chicago. Black Chicago are so angry. They said, we're going to turn Chicago red. And why? Because illegal migrants are getting funds for living, food, you name it. Uh, same thing's happening in uh, black New York, too. Same issue. So we haven't seen that here in Detroit, and I, and I will tell you, Detroit, uh, I'm so proud that I had a chance to be part of the leadership team here. We saw what happened in summer of 2020. Detroit was one of the few places that did not burn, and there was a reason for that. But, you know, he makes a comment about January 6th. What about all the burning and looting that took place across America in our major cities? Yep. Nothing is being talked about. We're talking about lives that were taken. We're talking about injured police officers looting. And well, the same thing. Well, well, why do you think that so, so many black folks are now transferring support to Trump? I don't know the exact numbers, but there's a trend in that direction. Why do you think it's taking place? It absolutely is a trend. Look, the Democrat Party left me some time ago. I grew up a, a conservative Democrat, a JFK Democrat. Uh, I'm now seeing, and I talk, I live in the city of Detroit. I talk to a lot of black Detroiters, most of which who are Democrats who said, we were better off uh, under President Trump. Yeah, I, I had this. more money. Mm -hmm, we were safer, yep. both in cities and our national security. These open borders are chaotic. So black voters, and not just black voters, Hispanic voters, too, are starting yeah. to move over. That's the and trend. it's not by accident. James Craig, unfortunately, I could talk like this for a long time, but I'm out of time. Okay. I want you to come back soon. Will you please do that? James Craig in uh, Detroit. Enjoy coming back, Stuart. I look forward Thank to you, it. Okay, you got it.